Hey there, and welcome to Prostate Insights. Today, we're talking about PSA, that's prostate-specific antigen, and why it's the most valuable player when it comes to understanding prostate health. Whether you're here to learn about screening, monitoring treatment, or just keeping yourself informed, you're in the right place. Let's dive in. So, what exactly is PSA? Well, it's a protein made by both healthy and cancerous prostate cells. Think of it as your prostate's calling card. Every prostate cancer produces PSA, but here's the kicker. The amount it produces can vary. Especially in aggressive cancers, the PSA levels per cell can be lower than in normal prostate tissue. Now, why do we care about PSA? Because it's a super versatile tool. Doctors use PSA levels to 1. Assess how advanced prostate cancer is 2. Monitor if treatments are working 3. Screen for prostate cancer Although this one's a hot topic. Well, get into that controversy later, so stick around. Here's how PSA works in your body. Normally, PSA is produced and released into your prostate ducts. A bit of it sneaks into your blood, totally normal. But when cancer disrupts the structure of the prostate, more PSA leaks into the bloodstream, including immature forms that didn't get fully processed. PSA levels also change as you age that's normal. Here's a quick breakdown of what's typical 40 to 49 years old. The PSA should be between 0 to 2.5 nanogram per milliliter. 50 to 59 years old. The PSA should be between 0 to 3.5 nanogram per milliliter. 60 to 69 years old. The PSA should be between 0 to 4.5 nanogram per milliliter. 70 to 79 years old. The PSA should be between 0 to 6.5 nanogram per milliliter. These age-specific ranges help doctors figure out what's normal for you. But here's where it gets tricky. PSA-based screening isn't perfect. Using higher PSA cutoffs for older guys means fewer false alarms, but also increases the risk of missing early cancers. It's a balancing act, and the debate is still raging. And there you have it. A quick intro to PSA and why it's so important. Whether you're here for prevention, treatment, or just staying informed, PSA is a key player in prostate health. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more insights on staying healthy. See you next time on Prostate Insights.